everybody, Anne here. It's first thing in the morning. I'm just sitting here on my porch with my girl, just drinking my coffee with all of you, trying to decide what I want to do today. And I don't think I'm going to finish that building project, <laughs> the big mystery build. Um, I'm going to take your suggestion and go get the star bit and some of those star screw thingies, whatever, um, and see if that works. And I'm also going to adjust the little dial thingy on the drill. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Um, and see if I can get that to work better too. But today, I think I'm going to do something that many of you have been encouraging me to do. And I just haven't wanted to do it because I didn't think it would work. But I've been doing so much research and I've been looking around my own property. And I know that it works because I've seen it in action. So that area down by the street where Mr. Lucas mowed yesterday, basically just got rid of everything, I think I'm going to go and try and plant something down there. It's going to require me to move some logs, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to try. Um, and I think I've got all the stuff I need for it. It's not going to be a perfect garden bed build, but it's going to be... Well, it's going to be Anne's tiny lifestyle build. So let's see if I can get this done. This is toward the back part of my property, and it is so pretty. Look at these cool ferns. They're just gorgeous. I love, 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 love coming out here and looking around. But remember these logs? Like right here, all the way down there? Well, I'm going to relocate a few of them. Two down. <laughs> They're pretty heavy, but luckily these two had little things like little branches coming out of them that I could grab onto. This one I basically just put it over my hip and just kind of held onto one of those little stubs there and pulled it on down. So I've got a few more to go. Alright, I was out gathering wood for my little project and look who walked up to my porch. Mr. Lucas. You know what he's doing? He's putting this light up. He's putting this light up. It's a solar powered, uh, what is it? One of those things that you um, walk in front of. A motion detector. So it's going to charge all day. And he's going to put it up there. You need some help? Hang on. Check it out. It's got to charge first though, right? You see that, that uh, sun sign keeps electric to it. Yep, and once the sun comes out from uh, behind those trees, it's going to be shining right on this area. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Lucas. You're awesome. Whoops. You're welcome. Yep, there he goes. He is a true American hero, Mr. Lucas. I've got four of them. They're not all the same size, but that's okay. And I'm not trying to really build a huge raised bed. I'm going to make one of those, I don't know what you call them, Hugo culture beds. I don't know if I have all the stuff to do it exactly right, but this is a start. So can you guys guess what I'm going to put down there next? Can you guess? Can you guess? Yep, you guessed it. Cardboard. And I've just taken all the tape adhesive off, any labels, and just unfolded them. And I'm going to let them soak here in this uh, little stream for a little bit. I may need a few more pieces, but this is going to be my next layer. There we go. Now I've actually, I soaked that in the river, but it's already kind of drying up a little bit, but um, I put a couple layers down just in case, because these weeds are kind of, you know, strong. They're almost like sticks, some of them, and I didn't want them poking up through the uh, cardboard. So now I'm going to gather a bunch of sticks and twigs and, yep, you guessed it, leaves. I think that's enough sticks and logs and twigs. Now I need to gather some, gosh, I wish I had some hay or wood chips. I'm gonna gather some leaves. So let me gather those together. This is gonna take forever. Phew, it's been a busy day today and I'm actually kind of tired. So I decided to come on my beautiful shaded porch and take a little break, have a little beverage. And then all of a sudden I got a ding, a PayPal ding. Somebody sent me a donation. Actually, there have been three people over the last few days who have sent me PayPal donations. And I mean, I'm just floored. I can't believe it. Every time somebody sends a donation, I'm able to just do a little bit more out here. And I love it. I 
You guys are helping me make my dream come true. You really are. So I'm not going to give their names until I've heard back from them whether or not they actually even want me to give their names. I've already heard one that doesn't want to be recognized at all. Um, there's two others, and I'm waiting to hear back from them. And if they say it's okay if I say who they are, then I'll go ahead and and tell you who they are, and then you can pat them on the back and just give them hugs and squeezes via the internet because it just means so much and it's gonna make things possible for me out here it really is so anyhow I'm just gonna take a little bit longer of a break and then I'm gonna get back to that raised bed and then I have to show you something else cool that Mr. Lucas gave me there's the bucket I need to put some leaves in and I almost forgot I've been doing laundry so I need to wring these out they've been washed they've been rinsed and I just need to hang them up to dry I think that's enough leaves. Uh, I think what I need to do now is just get everything really wet. I am just going to douse this with a few buckets of water and thankfully my rain barrel is full, both of them, because of the, all the rain. So that's a bonus. So I'm going to guess just get this really, really wet before I even try and start adding, you know, that hummus and compost and soil. Oh, look what I found guys in my shed. Isn't it cute? Don't worry, Mr. Froggy. I wouldn't think of eating you. Well, I've hauled all the leftover soil and hummus that I have. I don't know if it's going to be enough for this whole bed, but I might as well start layering it in now and just see. You never know until you try. I have used up all my soil and organic hummus and manure, and it's not enough, really. I think total I used three quarters of a bag of hummus and manure and two bags of topsoil and I think that I need about two more bags of hummus and about three more bags of topsoil and mound it up a little bit. I think that that will be fine um, because right now there's not even a, a full inch of dirt over the other stuff so I think this bed is going to be great and here's the thing I've got so many more logs. I mean right there over by my house they're so big I had to find a way to move them but there's so much material everywhere and plenty of water that I could turn this whole area right here into a huge garden basically and since the soil is so bad here just doing it this way is going to be great and then each year that I do it it's just going to get a little bit easier. I think the soil underneath will probably improve. So, yeah. I think I'm going to go to the store. Not today, maybe tomorrow. And then decide what to plant in it. Um, but I did want to show you something that Mr. Lucas gave me that may be a good thing to plant right here. See these? Mr. Lucas gave them to me and he said that they're winter onions. And these are the tops and they are seeds. So... And he even said you could just plant these down in there and they'll just keep multiplying and you can see the tops of these have little seeds on them. So I really want to eat these. I already ate some of the greens and they are delicious. But what would you think about me planting these onions? I think it would work. I just need to get a little bit more soil in there and I don't know. I think that they would go great. It's been an awesome day today. I got a lot done. I got my laundry cleaned. I got the little raised bed thing done. Well, it's not done. I need to get some more soil and some more hummus and manure and spread that down there and then decide what to plant on it. So let me know about the onions. And oh, I've got to bring the laundry on. I washed a bunch of laundry by hand today and it's all been hanging up all day long so it should be dry by now. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the evening and cook something on the rocket stove. I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to be beans again of, as much as I just love that big pot that I made the other day. It's going to be with, well, all beef sausage. And yeah, Betty's going to have a little bit because it doesn't bother her. And God, I want to put one of those green onions in it, but oh, I don't know. Maybe I won't feed Betty this and I'll just be selfish and make a dish just for me. So I think it's going to be sausage, maybe some rice, maybe some of those onions and go find some more dandelion greens. And um, hmm, I don't know, maybe just make a rice dish. I think that's what I'll do. But I did want to share with you the three people 
who uh, recently donated to the pa PayPal, and I want to thank them. Um, and they said it's okay if I mention them. One is Howard. Thank you so much, Howard. I just can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Ollie, oh my goodness. <sighs> Ollie, thank you so very much. I am absolutely going to be able to do a whole bunch of stuff with that money for the homestead. And Melody, thank you. Hers just came in just like two minutes ago. I can't. I know I keep saying this, it's like a verbal take. I can't believe it, I can't believe it, oh my goodness. But I can't, and oh my goodness, it is so awesome. So thank you all so much, and thank you for the person who donated, to, well, not donated, who became a patron, and you can still do that. And you know what, I'm just rambling. This video's been long enough, so I'm just gonna go do my little thing, finish up for the evening, and then take a shower. Oh, I need to wash my hair so bad. And it's going to feel so, so lovely. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.